Up. You're listening to Live and Loud with the Lord, Nelson, that is. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, what's up, Ken? You know who it is. It's the Lord, Nelson, that is, on the Live and Loud with the Lord podcast. You know, it's the big guy with the little show, man. It's the big guy with the little show. And listen, ladies and gentlemen, today, tonight, right now, we got somebody super, super, super special. He's, um, I don't know, man. I, I can say so much about this young man. I call him the young Johnny Handsome. He's a, he's a lady killer. The ladies love him. And I'm just being honest, man. And, and, and he's just, you know, I always say that he's everything I am and everything I wish I could have been. I say that all the time, and I really mean that. He's uh, just an unbelievable young man, and he's doing big things in this world. I'm so proud of him. And yes, indeed, he is related to me, ladies and gentlemen. I'll say that. He's kind of sweating me. Like, why Why haven't I had him on the show? I don't know what he's talking about, man. He, you know, this platform is for him whenever he wants to come. But he's trying to handle me improperly. You know what I'm saying? But it's all love, though. But we're going to get into a little bit of his business. And uh, I'm running my mouth right now, but we're going to let him run his mouth and talk. And uh, it's all love. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Parker. <laughs> Make sure you put, sure you put, put the Julie plug on behind that point. I want the applause behind that when you edit it. I right? put the applause behind it every time you yeah, do listen, it. Listen, you getting greedy, man. Listen, man, we doing. Listen, we keeping it official, man. We ain't, we ain't about the fakeness, man. We about hey, keeping we, it we, stay true to the game, man. You gonna so humble, man? You you a big guy, so man. You the big guy with the big show now. You true? Nah, nah, I'm big guy still with the little show, man. I like I like to keep it that what it is, man. It's all love, man. Yeah. But yo, thank you for being here, man. I really appreciate you. You know, I love you to death, boy. Love and, you too. Uh, I appreciate you having me for real. Every, everything's everything's love. So we're gonna start it off, man, because I'm gonna treat you just like I treat everybody else, man. Everybody, man, everybody gets the preferential treatment. Everybody's good with me. I'm honored to have you. So, first question. I ain't like, it. Where, I ain't like oh, everybody else, though. I ain't like everybody else. Come on, man. Come on, man. It's the show, man. Stop playing. So the so, first uh, question is where are you from? Man, I'm from uh Irmo, South Carolina. To me, Columbia, South Carolina, for everybody that don't know, but Irmo Soccer Lines, where I grew up, is just to me is the best city in the world. I love Columbia slash Irmo to death, and uh, yeah, that's where I'm from, man. You from Irmo, so you love you love Irmo like that, huh? Man, listen, Irmo, I think Irmo is the best city in the world ever. Okay, you know what I'm <laughs> that's why I have. That's why I want to have my kids. I want to raise oh, everybody. Yeah, wow. man. They say, uh, what do they say? Uh, history repeats itself. So, okay, so 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 so, what's the best thing about being from Irmo, Columbia? I feel like I feel like Columbia got the big city feel, the small city feel. I mean, feel like you could do everything you want to, man. Anything you want to do in Columbia, or anything you do in a big city, you could do it in Columbia. You can have fun, got good food, got everything. So I just love being there. And it's a, it's a town that, um, you know, it, it is some cons about it, but for the most part, is 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 loving. Um, people welcome you, and you know, it's just a great city. No doubt, no doubt. Mm. So, so let, let, let's talk about music. We're going to talk about music a lot, man, because you know I want to talk about music. Most yeah, do so you've been been around music all your life. So what is it about music that you love? Um, The way it makes me feel, man, just like certain things that I hear in the music take me back to a certain time of my life, whether it's good or bad. But either way, that's that's a good thing. Like either way, if it takes me back to a bad place, it made me remind me that Maybe I don't need to go back to that. Whatever I was doing, I don't need to be doing that no more. Or something to change. And if it's good, it's a good feeling. You know, I just I just love the way music takes you up and down. Just like you say, it's a high. You know what I'm saying? It's a high. It takes you all over the place. I just love music. It's just like my second, first and second love. Well, well, well like I always say, music is a time machine. It is. And so many, so many of the feelings that I have, you got those same feelings too. And of course, man, I let you know that DNA is real, ladies and gentlemen. DNA is, is, is real deal. There's no doubt about it. Sure. You know, we both feel that way. We both got a definite love for music, man. It's it's it's, it's crazy, but but it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So when you think about your younger years, what is your most memorable music moment? 
Oh man, my first. Just thinking about all the shows I did when I was young. Oh, those was crazy. Did shows at the township where I, you know, y'all. <laughs> I did that eight town stone with the spin move. Had the girls going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Going wide. The steppers behind me. Like that's that's probably like the best to this date. I mean, I still got so long to go, but to this date, like that's my favorite musical moment when I did that. Had the whole crowd going. What show at the township? Man, I like. <laughs> I was so nervous though, but like. Just thinking back on it, like I, I overcame that nervousness and I did it, and it just yeah. was a big crowd. You get know what I'm saying? That so that's just like a, a thing that I I do for my life. Like you know, it, you might not want to do something, or you might not want to go all the way into something, but you don't know the outcome. It can always be big, it can always be good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, man, I, I love that moment. Like I think about that all the time. <laughs> no, no, you know we got a little tape somewhere, man. We need we need to put that. You gotta find that tape, man. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta put that out. Find that tape. You were so young then, and you think about that. That Rockaway G suit that you had on. Oh, and right. you were still looking up for Lloyd or Marion. Who else was there? Um, was Bow Wow there? I think Bow Wow was Bow there. Bow Wow, Lloyd, and Omarion. Mm-hmm. And man, listen, it was crazy. But yes, when you went up there and did your thing, man, listen, the crowd went bananas, man. Yeah. And to have that feeling of uh, having people cheering for you, and, uh, and man, it's nothing like that, man. It ain't nothing like that, man. It ain't nothing like, you know, just... <laughs> Like surprising people, like they, yeah. they yeah. like people don't know your talent. So when you show it, it's good, they gravitate toward it. Me being young and doing all that it was like it was different. Man. I learned from the best. So yeah, no, it's sure. real, man. It's real. It's real. So you were on the amazing song "Heat Seekers" by Plastic Catastrophe with Lord Nelson. So sure. and both of your verses were fire, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Both of your verses were fire. So mm-hmm. was it as easy to spit to some, you know, groove metal? Compared to some hip hop beats, um, you know, I, I go into every song I do the same way. And like I, I had the same process, and just growing up and hearing different and different like uh, genres of music, versions of music, I think it helps me when I do music, so I can rap over any beat. Because I used to try, you know, what I'm saying I used to try to rap on country beat, I used to try to rap on hip hop, I used to try to rap on like singing and all that. So when I go into it, I, I, I just use the same process. So it wasn't that hard. Um, mm-hmm. And then the vibe of the song. So if I'm getting a good vibe from the song, it makes me want to be like, oh, I got to yeah. put some fire on here. Like, And so with Heat Seekers, I just went crazy, man. I used the same process, cut off all the lights, got into my mode, put the headphones on, heard the beat, heard you going crazy, heard the, the music going crazy. And I was like, man, I got to, if I'm going to be on the album, I'm going to be on the song, I got to get my best. You know what I'm saying? Every time I want to be the best. So I got to do that. I was one hundred percent. So when I, when I was in uh, Texas with, with with Matt and uh, his wife Carmen, she was just like, "That's her favorite song on the album." She said, I mean, "That heat course, secret, man." man. Of course, she's I'm like, I'm yeah, nah, man. Hey, look, I, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Uh, your verses were, man, they were beyond incredible, man. I, most most definitely, they, they they get you geeked up when you listen to them. The song is a great song anyway, but but you just added so much more to it, man. Being on it, man, and we. And, and she, we appreciate you, man. There's no doubt about it. And the crazy thing is, like, I like when I'm doing the song and I'm hearing it, I don't think it's that good. Like, never. Any song that I do, I don't I don't be thinking it's that good until I replay it and and, and listen to it over and over and over. And uh, yeah. when I heard that one and I put it together, and because I, I freestyle, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, well, I punch in. I don't know how y'all do it or people yeah. do other do it, but I'm punching I'm in. Writer, you know. <laughs> yeah, and I, rec- and I could record myself. So it's, it's just yeah. like, you know, um, I feel like that's the best thing for me. And uh, when I did that, I just put all that together and came out with that Heat Seekers verse. Both of them. Heat Seekers, man. Mm-hmm. One of the, anyway, it was great, great One song, of the, man. Turn us <laughs> on Heat Seekers. <laughs> so, so, so <laughs> this dude is a wild boy. Mm-hmm. So with you being as dope as you are, so, what is the hardest part of achieving success in the music business you discovered? Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like the music industry nowadays, especially hip hop, is is so saturated. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like it's a lot of music, and it, it's so accessible. Everybody can put out any kind of music at any time. If it's good, most of the time to me, it'd be bad. But I don't want to critique nobody music. But I'm just saying because that's their art form. That's how they express themselves. So I can't say if it's bad or not. Right. It may not pertain to me. But um, just being oversaturated and just everybody trying to do the same thing and, and break out and create your own lane. Um, 
and also putting in the work and the effort, man. It take, you know, it take it take time, it take money, you know, it take sacrifice. And um, if you're not willing to do that, then you you won't be in this game <laughs> for sure. Listen, listen. <laughs> That's real. That's real talk. So, so okay. So let's talk about you moved to Atlanta. For sure. Okay. So how has the, the, you know, your move to Atlanta been? And what is it about Atlanta that you love so much? You so, love Irma and Columbia, but you're in Atlanta, though. So, so what's, a, what, 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 what is, what's it about Atlanta? Yeah, you're getting a call. It's all love. It's all love. It's probably, you know, yeah, it's all love. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 so the thing I, I just love about Atlanta is, um, um, excuse me, that, that kind of threw me off my mind, man. These folks never know who it's called me. But, um, hey, shut your phone off, man. So, the thing about uh, Atlanta that I love so much is just that, um, the, the, the camaraderie when it comes to doing music, mm-hmm. um, just the fact that, that everybody out here is, like I said, is also doing, doing the music, but, um, <laughs> hold on. Hey man, go ahead and tell him, man, man. Tell him, man. Listen, no, tell him you're busy, man. Yeah. Tell him you're on the listen, man. You don't tell him you on the live and live of the Lord podcast. Exactly. <laughs> live and live. The CMS Network, baby. The CMS Network, baby. Hold on. Man, you don't hurry up and do this. And I'm not cutting or editing nothing either. Well, you a wild you're not, dude. You're not gonna edit nothing. We live and loud with the Lord right now. Yo, who's that? Cuz? Huh? Hold on one second for me. Happy birthday. Who is that? Russell, happy birthday, old man. What's up, kid? So we got a special, it's your birthday. We got a special guest right now for you on your birthday. What? (laughs) Yes, sir. (laughs) Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday. Well, I just checked in because, you know, I know that you... Another, another trip around the sun, big bro. How you feel? Man, I'm feeling great. Listen, I'm about to lose my mind, man. Lift it up and bring you too low. Oh. Listen, I want you to know that I don't care about what anybody else says in this world about music or nothing. And and, and it's many people. It, your, your opinion to me matters so much. And ever since I was a, a young man, and I, I'm shocked again. I'm shocked again. I'm going to tell you something. You left the message the first time before, and I lost my mind. It's been so hard for me to watch that again. But, man, it's crazy. Oh, this is crazy, man. It was wild. (laughs) Hey, hey, listen. I am honored beyond honored, man. Yeah. (laughs) Hold on. I'm honored beyond honored, man. I'm 12,000. Yeah, I, I, I just want you to know I'm honored. And, and you said, you, you said where, you, where you at right now, Pop? Yo, I'm in I'm in uh, Columbia, South Carolina, Irmo, South Carolina. I'm in, in my in my little studio, having my podcast live and loud with the Lord. I'm on the CMS network. Things are growing for me. I continue to build on my platform and the things that I love because I love music. And all I can think about is how Run DMC got me started. And to know that you were such a part of that, man, this is crazy to me, man. I'm telling you. Dearly, so I want to shout her out. He, he said, "I don't love you dearly." She she said all this up. He just wanted to shout you oh out. Oh my goodness, man! My wife, my wife is beyond. She's beyond incredible, man. Russ, th- thank you so much, man. It, 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 listen, if there's anything I can ever do with you, not that you ever needed anything, but you are one of my heroes. I mean that. He, he said, he "Got a number. We didn't call him for anything." I, 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 you are one of my heroes, and you always have been. I, I think you're one of the greatest human beings out there, and I mean that. I'm happy to do your, let, Let's schedule a time to do your podcast. I'm hey, to man, <laughs> thank you so. Hey, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I love you, baby. My wife is so crazy. Russ, thank you, man. I love you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Bless appreciate you, man. you both, man. Hey, I appreciate it for sure. My pleasure. All right, bro. My wife is is my my children. Ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to know something. My wife and my children are are beyond beyond great. And and, um, man, I'm sorry. So so happy birthday, man. You know, this was just our early birthday present to you, dog. That's crazy. We just wanted to to, uh, 
show you, let you know, you, you did so much, man. You just doing it all. And we just wanted to give you something good for your birthday. So happy birthday, man. I can't wait. Oh, man. Just wanted to tell you that. Hey. I know I, I know. I was, I was trying to stall, you know what I'm saying? Because I knew it was coming. Like, we've been planning this all day. And I knew oh, it was man. coming, so I was just trying to start. And I, you know, I appreciate you doing, taking your due diligence out for me to get all the questions and stuff. And I just wanted to surprise you, man. So come on, man, you guys. That's crazy, man. Because, because I, I, you know, honestly, yeah, Russell Simmons, one hundred percent, man. I've loved Run DMC for so long, and you know, from the first time that your brother, your uncle, excuse me, bring them down to South Carolina and me seeing them and. And, and just always just looking at Russell, how he handled things, man. I just got the utmost respect for him. And even, you know, on the 50th, that birthday, that was beyond, man. And and, and guys did it again, man. I, I, I'm tripping. So I'm just trying to get my composure right now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, man. I, I, I love you guys. Thank you. I love you, baby. Thank you. It's crazy. Because at first I was just like, I was tripping. Because I, I was just like, I thought it was something that y'all set up like it wasn't real. I was like, what's going on? And then all of a sudden, I was just like, wait a minute. So once again, man, I'm tripping. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, my family always, my wife, my wife surprises me so much. And I love her so much, man. I'm just so thankful. So anyway, man, all right, I'm good. <laughs> oh. You guys are something else, man. Babe, thank you. Thank you. Man, you know, you, and, 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 and you know, with your, your mom going through, you know, what she's going through right now, man, and it's 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 hard. And, and just for her to muster up the energy to do something like that for me, man, is is uh is beyond amazing and beyond great. I'm just I'm just so thankful and grateful, man. Yeah, man. You, and then, man, just say, hey, anytime we on, he on the network, man, you gonna say, say, set up a time to do the podcast. You feel oh, me? Man, so, man yeah, man, I, 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 I gotta set up a mad time for where he, he can do whatever he wants to do, man. That's that's how much love I got for him, man. Most definitely, it's crazy. Your mom sure. is your mom is your mom is bananas. You know how many times that I've said to myself, I would love to have Russell on this podcast, man, because I'm I'm telling you. You know, Chris and 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 Matt Hartman, and, and I know some other people I'm missing on the network, man, on the CFS yeah. network, man. They just uh, allow me to do what I do. And uh, Chris, yeah. thank you, Matt, thank you, everybody on the CMS network, thank you, man. I appreciate you. And and to my whole family, to my wife Nina, to Nakia, to Jay, to Jay Parker, Julie Parker, Nelson, my my C, my son, and my my grandson Cameron, man. I'm just beyond happy, man. Man, you deserve it, man. I, hey. Listen, I, and I'm now I'm talking too much. You know, this is supposed to be all about you, man. No, no, no. Nah, nah. See, see, the thing about this is it was meant for that. So, like, I had to get on here to, to like throw you off a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just to, like, just to, so to throw you all the way left, so I can bring you back right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my gosh, man. So yeah, we we did it, man. Uh, you know, you, you deserve this stuff. Believe it or not, man, you deserve. You put the time in, you put the work in, you put the effort in, like all your life, bro. So you, you deserve it, man. So that, that's why I want you to think about it. Is is, is you deserve this, man? You hey, deserve man, thank it, you, man. Russell Simmons, man. People, ladies and gentlemen, I just want y'all to know, man. Russell Simmons for so long, man. Oh, let me tell you one story. So he calling me. I don't know the number. I'm thinking it's a girl. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> You thought it, yeah, you thought it was good, yeah, you thought the young lady was I just thought, yeah, I thought you, you somebody thought you wanted to bust up my surprise, man. You want to blow my surprise, man. He didn't text me say, yo, this rush. I was like, oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> he had to tell me, say, yo, this rush. Oh my goodness. Well, listen, I don't even know what listen. So you weren't even trying to go further on this. This is what it was about. This was what it was about. Hey man, so we we hit it out, man. All I said, ladies and gentlemen. This special episode for my for my birthday for my beautiful <laughs> wife, who who just I love her. She just surprised the nothing out of me, man. I, I'm beyond overjoyed once again. Russell Simmons has blessed me again, yeah, and, for sure. uh, and once again I just look at him as, as one of the greats, man, as as in music and in and so many other things, man. Uh, it's yeah. Russell Simmons, man. That's it's Rush, Rush, man. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm just thinking about so many things just running through my head, man. Just Def Jam. Just make sure you have your question ready, man. <laughs> man, listen. Man, listen, I, I don't know how long I can have it, but I bet I have about 10,000 questions for Russell Simmons, man. He's one of the heroes of mine, man. I'm telling you, man, about people I care about in music, man. He, he really is. I just look at him. I, I, I wish I had that go get that he had because he's a go getter, man. And, go-getter, and just man. watching all the things about him, man. So he's an inspiration. And um, I'm just thankful, man, because I really, really love this music. And, and I just think about how big Def Jam was a part of my young life, you know, going into record stores with your uncle, man, and, and going in there and, and pulling out and seeing that Def Jam label. That label meant the world, man. And you knew if anything was on there, it was dope, man. You know, from LL Cool J to just, just oh, listen. Anyway, man, it's just all dope. Man. I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm out of my mind right now. I don't even know what to say, man. I'm, I'm, just, I'm babbling. I'm running my mouth, man. You ain't got to say nothing. You ain't got to say nothing. All right, man. Well, well ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is Live and Loud with the Lord. And uh, as usual, my wife got me again. She got me again. She su- has surprised me every year of my life. And every year we've been together, we've been together a long time. And she gets me every time, whether it's our anniversary, whether it's birthdays. I'm just a simple dude. I just, I'm just humble. I like to chill. And uh, she always, she's the spark, man. And so are my, my beautiful children, man. I love you guys, man. Love you too, Pop. Crazy. Crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it out, man. And um, whew. ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is yours truly, the Lord Nelson. That is from the yeah. podcast Live and Loud with the Lord on the CMS Network. And uh, once again, we got Jay Parker here. Thank you so much, Russell Simmons. Russell Simmons, thank you so much, my brother. I really appreciate you, man. Yes, indeed. Thank you for taking your time out of your super busy schedule for little old me. I mean, big me, but little old me. <laughs> so I appreciate it. All right, man. I love you guys. Love you too. Oh, my goodness, man. So Rick Rubin, I'd say I'm a dancer terrier. He was a member of the Beastie Boys. He was a DJ double R. I met him at Dancer Terrier because Jazzy J brought him to me. Jazzy J was on a record, it's yours. T. La Rock is the best record on the radio. We talked and danced here and he played me his drum machine. He had so many beats. We started a record label. The record label put out LL's first record. The record store didn't know what was in the box because it said Def Jam again and it's yours was Def Jam. And it was a core community that went to that cool store that bought the cool records and that record was the next after it's yours. Rick owned and created the label Def Jam, that was his.